Okay, go this way. Come back this, this way. way. Lucy. This is Mika. Um, we've only had her for about a week. And we have her in boarding. And she's young. She's uh, her pa According to her paperwork, she's a year to 14 months, something like that. I have to look at the paperwork again. So she's still puppy. Um, they basically were keeping her kenneled all the time, so they've not worked with her. So she's um, somewhat obnoxious. Um, but she's Good. she can saddle. Good girl. Oh, that is such a you see Lucy's girl. handling her. And, you know, she's a strong girl. She needs some obedience to curtail that mind and educate that mind. But I think she's going to be a great girl with the right training and, you know, with an owner she can bond to. And... Are you kitty friendly? Are you kitty friendly? Are she's being compliant. Friendly? Oh, I thought you put her. I love the coat. It's kind of stringy. Mm -hmm. It's so soft. Yep, she's a long hair. We don't think she's cat friendly though. She's Mickey's in his crate right there, and she was barking at the crate. Um, I don't think the people had cats when I picked her up from their house. There was no cats, but I was I didn't, wasn't outside. Only outside. You being a full grown. She's uh, she's being here where she's boarded. They have her in, in a big long kennel run. She has her own private kennel, but they keep the doors open and the. The dogs that are here long-term boarding, like ours are, get to go in the big kennel runs. And she is with a, she's with a, it's a black lab female. So she's good with other dogs, there's no question. Um, so she, no problems there. Good with people, just not thinking kitty for her. No, ma'am. Mika. Hi, Mika. Hi, Mika. Mika. Stand up, Luce. You gotta stand up. If you're gonna, I, I couldn't. <laughs> there she is. She's mildly, I mean, she's obnoxious. She's being a ninny. But, so, yeah, she's got a lot of potential, though. She's really smart. Pretty yeah. So any potential adopter, this is what you're seeing the worst in her. I mean, we're not phased by it. We see this all the time. My, I, my five personal German Shepherds are, you know, they're not cat friendly. Um, Good girl, you this is, this is routine. This is common. We actually get more not cat friendlies than we do cat friendlies, but lately we've had quite a few cat friendlies, so uh, that's a good thing because it means we can get them adopted and they don't have to die in the kill shelters. So, um, but Mika is a beautiful girl. If you're a shepherd lover and you don't have cats, then Mika is going to be a great fit. But she's going to need standard obedience, and that's going to be required to help her to be um, more manageable and easygoing. You can see. She's anxious here with the kitty. Of course, like again, I said, we're in a boarding facility and so she is uh, happy to be out and interacting with us. And that was bad. Bring her over here. I'm not going under the table. So, and, and, and even despite the fact that she's as anxious as she is, and she's excited, it's just not anxiousness, this is excited happy to be out, being interacting with us, but for a nine-year-old to be able to deal with her, even though she's a bit much for Lucy, it's it's not bad, really. She's okay because we're indoors. Right. But like if we were at a park or something, that's Right. I would never recommend to most nine-year-olds could not handle her. You're an exception okay. to the rule, Luce. Mika. She's an exception to the rule in a lot of cases. <laughs> <laughs> No, ma'am. No. Walk her, walk her over that way to the left.
bring her back over here for a sec. Mika, 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 Mika,